a 19 game improvement for this team and the season by Jose Altuve was outstanding. Can they keep improving specifically Altuve? Wow, that's uh, what, 225. Get that's that? amazing. Yeah. You know, he's a good hitter. There's no doubt. And I think really on the national stage, we got to know Jose Altuve. This guy can put the ball in play, you know, leading the, in hits and his batting average off the chart. Dallas Keuchel, I think you got to include him. Nice pitcher, left-hander. He's done a nice job. I, I don't improvement, Scott. I mean, how do you how do you go higher than where he was? Uh, I think he'll be a guy that will be a great table setter. And will they improve? Yes. There's no doubt about it. The Astros are on the up. No question about it. I think Springer has a chance to be a dynamic young player. But, Al, I agree with you. I think what we need to see is we need some improvement on the pitching side of things. And one of the guys they're hoping on is that a strong Arizona Fall League, Mark Capel, first-round draft pick from Stanford. Listen, he hasn't produced up to this point. He's been a little bit of a disappointment, but that's the minor leagues. And you know, as well as I do, Al, they would like nothing more to get this guy up to the big leagues to start showing off some of that minor league showcasing of that pitching. And right now, he's leading the core. And if he can get to the big leagues sometimes in 2015, I think you'll start to see this team get better and better. You know, and, and I think when you look at them, I agree with you. You look at this team, offensively, they were pretty good. Strike out an awful lot. They steal some bags, second to the Kansas City Royals in stolen bases. So there's a lot there. You mentioned about Springer, there's no doubt. You got Jonathan uh, Singleton. John Singleton, you sure. Know, nice player. So there's enough there to work with. Uh, Feldman was a nice sign. You know, it didn't improve on the, on the rotation. There's no doubt about it. But, yeah, look at this list right now. So you have a couple starters, Dallas Keuchel with a huge season, a ground ball guy from the left side, and then Colin McHugh with a breakout year as well. His ERA south of three. Jason Castro behind the plate. That's their catcher of the future. And then a couple of these guys we hit on already, Jonathan Singleton and George Springer. This team finished in fourth place in baseball in home runs, and there is more power on the way. Look at Carlos Correa, who could be a premier shortstop in the game from both sides, from offense and defense. You guys hit on a Pell. There's Domingo Santana, and you have a pitcher and then a hitter on the back end of that list. Colin Moran actually is an interesting story because he's a first-round pick by the Miami Marlins. They ship him in that big deal towards the uh, trade deadline, and they got rid of Jared Cosart, which was an interesting move. You think they have enough pitching? Why would they make a move like well, that? Well, they're Dan? banking on the pedigree. He's a nephew of former big leaguer B.J. Serhoff, a teammate of mine of the Milwaukee Brewers. Had a terrific 17-, 18-year career. This is an organization right now, the Astros. This is the only thing that scares me. This American League West is not getting any easier. You look at who they finished above the Texas Rangers. The Rangers couldn't have had more go wrong in 2014 as far as health issues. Four-fifths of their starting rotation decimated. They didn't have fielder. This was a, a completely awful year for the Rangers. So expect the Rangers to be better. But I think the Astros are no longer a team. Now you're going to go in there and, and beat them three out, two, three out of four, two out of three. They're a good, young, exciting team. They're quality pitching away from being a legitimately a much better team. You, you touched on Mark Appel. I mean, here's the number one pick, what, a couple years ago. Uh, disappointment, you said, in the minor leagues, did not have the numbers that they expected. I, you know, a little, I don't know him, but, you know, the stories that I've read, a little quirky in his, in his routine and, you know, got a little careless with his, with his location and the things that a young pitcher does. But I'll tell you, Dan, this guy, what, watching him, especially coming out of Stanford, and you rate his stuff, which is that's all you could really do. And I know the numbers aren't reflective of, wow, this guy was number one. He did not pitch that way. High A, you see the ridiculously high ERA came down. But look at the Arizona Fall League. Is that a big deal to you? I think it is. Look, you have a guy here, Scott, that you – an organization, Jeff Lunau and the Astros want him to succeed without a doubt. You give him a big signing bonus. Uh, you find little snippets within his – short career as a minor leaguer to say, yeah, he turned the corner. Yes, he's made a difference. You're going to find reasons to bring him up, and that does matter. See how the spring training goes. So the Houston Astros, the first team ever with three straight number one overall picks, so more on the way for this team. But let's just focus on 2015 for a moment. Can they keep going up? They improved by 19 games. Can they get to 500? That's a tall task. I man. think 500 is asking a little bit too much, Al. This is a good team. It's a better team. It's still a young team in transition. I don't think they have enough starting pitching to get them near 500. I agree with Dan. Right, listen, 500 is the benchmark. You want to get a team to get to 500. Now you start talking postseason. I think that this team is still two years away. And according to Sports Illustrated, they have a little bit more time. The cover of SI a few months back, your 2017 World Series champ. So they don't have to do it in 2015, <laughs> 16, as long as they get there by 2017, and maybe they're on their way. Are you kidding? They'd take that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully it's not an SI cover jinx as well.